Hello and welcome back to the second CSS video tutorial here at beginnertouch.com. In this video, I'll be showing you how to add background colors and background images to your web pages and your HTML elements. In order to do so, I have created two files. Of course, I have created my stylesheet.css file and I have also created my HTML file. In my HTML file, I've already linked um, the style sheet just as I did in the previous video. I've also created two basic HTML tables. One of them I'm gonna style inline and the other I'm gonna style using the style sheet. But before doing that I would like to show you how to add a background image and a background color to your main page. To do that I'm gonna go to my stylesheet.css file. In here I'm gonna type body because all the content that needs to be visual on the website needs to be placed within the body text. So if I want to add a background image to the whole page, I'll need to style the body tag. So in the body tag, I'll then type background. And because I want a background color, I'm going to use the property background color. And then the value should be gray. So I'm using the hexadecimal value for gray. And I'm ending it with a semicolon like that. Let's try viewing this in the browser. As you can see, our web page has now got a gray background color. Now I'm going to add a background image. To do that, I'm going to use the property called background image. Pretty straightforward. And because it's the image, I'll need to use URL. And then I would like to use an image of a dog, which I have located in the same folder. So I'm just going to write dog.jpg and ending it with a semicolon. Let's try viewing this in the browser. As you can see we now got the image of the dog as the background. Uh, but the background has repeated itself because it's a small picture so it can't fill out the whole uh, browser window. Um, and we can actually see that there's a gray background color uh, underneath this image. So in order to remove this repetition of the image I'm gonna go back into my style sheet. In here I'm gonna write background repeat and I want no repeat so I'm just gonna type in no repeat and ending it with a semicolon let's view it in the browser again so now the picture or the image has not repeated itself and we can actually see that there is also a gray background color so you're able to both have a background image and a background color um, you can also repeat the picture horizontally or vertically uh, let me show you how instead of no repeat you can write repeat X or repeat Y if I then type repeat x, it's gonna be um, repeated horizontally. If I type in repeat y, it's gonna be repeated vertically. So let me show you how it looks like when uh, it's repeated in the on the x-axis. And this is how it looks like. Um, the picture has been uh, repeated horizontally. Um, and if it was y, it would be repeated down this way. I could also change the position of the background. Uh, let me show you. I'm just gonna change this to no repeat like that and then I'm gonna use a property called background position. I could type in center and then the background would be positioned in the center. I could also type in right and then it would look like this. So you can move around with your picture as you want. Um, you can try it out yourself. So now I want to style my two tables. So I'm just going to move back into my HTML file. In order to style the first table inline, I will have to use the style attribute, like in the previous video. And in here I would then like to add the property background color. This one. And I also want that to be gray. And to add more attributes, I will separate them with a semicolon. Then I would like to specify a width for this table. Um, the width should be 300 pixel. And I would also like to specify height. And it should also be 300 pixel. And I need to write px because it's pixel. I would actually want a black color instead because otherwise we won't be able to see it because our main background color is gray. So it's going to be black instead, like that. So let's view it in the browser. As you can see, we now have a table that is styled inline uh, with a 
background color that is black. It has also been styled with the properties width and height so that it has a width of 300 pixel and a height of 300 pixel. Now I'm gonna try styling my other table um, using uh, the style sheet. So I'm gonna go into my style sheet again. In my style sheet I could then simply type in table and then style it but I want to create a specific and unique styling for my table. So I'm gonna use a selector and call that table style 1. So now I'm creating a specific styling. In this style I would like to style the property background image and I also want that to be URL because I want to use the dog image like that and ending it with a semicolon and then we also need to style our width and height properties I'm just gonna set the width um, to 300 pixel again and the height as well 300 pixel so now we have created our special styling please notice that I used this number sign to create this uh, specific styling in order for this um, special styling to apply to our table we need to go back into our HTML document and uh, add it in an uh, attribute called ID and because we want the table style 1 styling to apply to this table we're gonna type in table style 1 so now this table should be styled according to the table style 1 um, specific styling that we have made in the style sheet and as you can see our table down here has now been styled according to that specific styling where we use our image as the background image and it is also repeated and that is because we haven't set it to no repeat and that was pretty much what I wanted to show today um, if you have any questions or want to watch more CSS and HTML videos then please visit beginnertouch.com where you will also be able to join our forum. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.